uh, police's responsibility started off uh, with the early morning. We started off with the early morning of the villages and then we helped evacuate quite a number of uh, uh, people who were to be displaced. And then came uh, the relief operation. And we have been working on it ever since uh, uh, the land got inundated. And uh, coming to the relief activities, uh, over here in Yamshuru, which is a hub of all the, uh, which has become a hub of flood uh, affinities. So people had gathered in Yamshuru, so we took over a place which is Kulshanish uh, Nebaz on the main Suba Highway. It is around 600 acres and uh, we settled more than 5,000 families over there and they were all around, uh, from all across the, the uh, Sin province as well as the border in Balochistan and Punjab provinces. So the people from all these areas were not settled here. So we started uh, uh, first of all living at the tents and then the rations and it's been more than six weeks now, more than one and a half months that we have been looking after them. So police is in the lead in this relief operation and uh, we are uh, uh, very actively looked after by the divisional administration and the district administration as well. Uh, so we have divided the whole area into 16 zones and we have police other cars for each of the zones and then we have documented each and every country and uh, when it comes to distribution of rations, we uh, don't distribute the ration on the spot because there is always a chaos and we never know who got how much. So we have uh, this system of transporting them all the way to the police lines and then we have a record uh, whereby we come to know who has uh, received rations and when last did they receive the rations. So this is how we are looking after them. Then we have this Tambu schools over there. We call this area Tambu Road. And then they have, uh, we have three Tambu schools which are uh, established over there. Then we have uh, two medical camps, one run by KPHI and the other by the police at Portland's Hospital. And then uh, uh, the fresh and uh, uh, safe drinking water, which was the main uh, uh, responsibility for everyone who runs the tent village. So we have uh, two. 5,000 gallons per day uh, safe drinking plants which are mounted on our vehicles, police vehicles. They, are, they uh, start off in the morning and uh, till late in night. They keep on moving and distributing water from tent to tent. And then we have a big uh, uh, safe drinking uh, uh, RO plant also fixed now over there. So we have met the needs of the people in as far as the drinking water was concerned and then the rations. Now we have switched from the ration distribution to the cooked food. So with the help of Serami and Bahriya, we are managing this uh, cooked food uh, service twice a day. And uh, this is a very good quality food. Now that the water has receded from most of the areas in the upper and in the northern areas, uh, people have started going back. So we are helping them uh, to prongs. Right? Uh, we are giving fuel to those who have bought the tractor trolleys and then we are uh, arranging the truck and uh, uh, the, the trolleys, the big 22 meter trailers. Uh, it's been uh, now four days now, we have dispatched four uh, trailers all the way, one to Vara and three of them to Mayor. So people have started moving back to the areas where the water has receded.